<laughs> it's a very different case, huh? <laughs> and what virtue did it Hello, hello, hello. So we're going to start in 30 seconds. In the meantime, village, we're all going to like pitch in, grab a edge of a sign, grab a edge of a banner, and we walk. Sounds good? All right, we're going to start in 30 seconds. All right, all right, all right. I'm Nicola Williams. I'm president of the Cambridge Carnival. And welcome to Cambridge, residents and visitors aside. Thank you for coming out to our rally. We have a few, um, it is organic like the Cambridge Carnival, you know what I mean? Yes. It's organic like how we are and how we do it. So we're just going to go with the flow, but the key is we're going to communicate and we're going to use our people power, right? Yes. All right. Yes. Okay, um, I would like to start with our, our mayor, due respect to our mayor. Mark McGovern to say a few words, and we're going to keep the program going. All right? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Thank you, Nicola, um, not just for organizing this event, but for everything that you do uh, in, or in all the years you've organized these events and for your work in the Caribbean community. Um, I know that this was incredibly disappointing to this community, and I want to let you know that I hear that. I know that. And I'm sorry for that. Um, but I want to make sure that we, uh, in light of this decision, uh, I want to make sure that we continue to find a way to celebrate and appreciate the Caribbean community here in Cambridge uh, and, around the, and around the region. Uh, just recently, Councilor Zondervan and I, uh, in the city chamber, did a special event uh, celebrating the uh, Caribbean community and honoring the communi uh, Caribbean community. Nicola was there. I just want you to know that we're going to try to figure this out. And as Nicola said, this is about community um, and we're going to come together and we're going to try to find a resolution uh, not just for this year but for moving forward. So please know that you have my support, you have my respect, you have my appreciation for what the Caribbean community has meant for the city of Cambridge and uh, we will find a way to get through this together. Thank you. Last year and give full support for his department in having uh, a music on the road as well as the stage so we appreciate that and want to thank you and your staff for your support I want to bring up Ken Reeves our original idea strategist it was his fault <laughs> he appointed me as on behalf of the city to help the Cambridge Carnival and I've been involved ever since here is our original instigator, seed planter of Cambridge Carnival. Yes. Thank you, Nicola. Um, you know, it is said that I'm one of the founders, but I, and that's true. But really, the role I played was to make sure this opportunity could occur. There was a lot of, no, we can't do it. We can't shut down Mass Ave. We can't, we can't, we can't, we can't. And, we just decided that you could, and we did. And it's been magnificent for 26 years. And so now we're at a new juncture where there's a question. You know, there has never been a, council, a carnival canceled anywhere. Anywhere. There's Brooklyn, there, 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 there's Toronto, there's Boston. None of them have ever been canceled. So. We have a difficult question to, we, we, we rightly scratch our heads and wonder. And the other thing, if you've been around since the beginning, you know that many of the, we've been around 26 years, this would be 27. Uh, Carnival in Boston used to be on a Saturday, and Carnival in Cambridge would be the next day on Sunday. For most of those 26 years, and no matter what happened in Boston, we always had carnival the next day. So that whatever happened somewhere else did not determine the outcome here. So 
I'm here today not only as the founder and godfather of this event, but I'm also very concerned as a Cambridge citizen. I'm Jamaican on both sides. And uh, this carnival represents us in our culture, the peoples of the Caribbean. Before this carnival, there was not in Cambridge any event that celebrated black people. None. And the first carnival that celebrated the Caribbean people in this city was one of the most joyous days for its people of color in the city because they really felt that they had an event that was for them. So I feel the rain, so I'm done. But I'm also here as the president of the NACP, which is very interested in questions of justice. So we're here to hear what you have to say about the cancellation of this year's carnival. Thank you, Nicole, and love you. And then me, and then we'll wrap up and get on the road. All right, I, I won't take long. My name is Quinton Zondervan, Cambridge City Councilor. I'm a proud immigrant from the Caribbean nation of Suriname. It's on the mainland, but we are part of the Caribbean. I'm severely disappointed that this carnival has been canceled. I'm committed to working with the mayor, with the city manager, with the police commissioner to make sure that it's never canceled again. So thank you all for being here. Let's communicate, as Nicola said, and let's make sure that we come together as a community and figure this out and make sure that we can continue to celebrate this carnival forever. Thank you all for being here. Have a celebration of brown and black people. Yes. Caribbean means many things. It means people who have descended from liberated, formerly enslaved people. And the carnival is a symbol of that, the celebration of that. And so when I brought that seed to um, uh, where is where is uh, David? David, please come up and join me. David and myself and Everton, we came to the mayor with that seed of an idea, and he it resonated with him being from the Caribbean, and so he worked with us to bring that seed to f first incubation and then fruition for 26 years. Congratulations, Cambridge Carnival Committee for taking it forward from us and giving it life every year. It is a difficult task, and so it's very disappointing that after all of that work of 12 months to have to defer it. But like uh, Langston Hughes said, it shall not dry, dry up like a raisin in the sun. Okay, so we, uh, I'm going to pass this to my co-founder, David Martin. Thank you. Thank you all for coming out in the rain, in spite of the weather. It's indeed a pleasure to be here and to be... <laughs> I'm lost for words because I wasn't prepared. Founded the carnival here, right here. When I went to the mayor, I said, Mayor, we're going to have a carnival. He says, how do you intend to do that? <laughs> I says, well, I don't know. You say, you have any money? I said, no. He says, go make some money and come back. <laughs> he started right here. I can't remember that. <laughs> so go make some money and come back. And he gave us a key to the city. We used to raise funds right, right in the square right there. Raised funds for several years. And make some money. And we raised 1,500, 1, something like that. And we present the carnival. And here it is to stay. And I will still be instrumental somewhere in the background for being the person to actually brought the carnival right here in Boston, right here in Cambridge. Thank you all for coming out.